We are into June now. And uh, black flies are out in full force, so I've got myself well doused in bug spray. And I've been doing some more work on the garden. Hopefully, hopefully by, uh, uh, hopefully by uh, tomorrow, maybe the day after, we'll be able to get some plants in that we picked up when we went down south for a family visit. I've been working on putting on the seat part of the, the, the bed. And it's used also to cover up the plastic lining that we put in so they don't get all kinds of dirt and stuff in there. So I'm just going to get at it. spray my ear I got her I know you got sprayed too and you didn't like it one little bit did you hey trouble what are you doing you making trouble Yeah, I think this is the last one for those. And I'm thinking I need to go inside. Have a break. Get away from these stupid black flies. Get off this end. So here's a little closer view of what I've done. There's a seat that runs around the whole entire inside and I've got that overhanging half and half front and back. But on the back side, because we're putting up some fencing that goes all the way up here, I've made that flush with the back. And I just took some two by sixes and ripped them in half to do that. So that part is all done. So the only thing we have left now is to get some fill in here and get the mulch on. To rebuild this bed here. Ugh. I hate black flies! Rebuild this bed and then put the tops on that as well. So until we get in here with the tractor, that is it for now.
looks like I have garden beds. Except for this is black flies. <laughs> That's all right. If it weren't for the black flies, this would actually be fun. Now that I've got all the mulch in, in the, in the footpath part of the bed, I can finally start building the last part of the, the, the raised bed. So I've got all my parts cut already, it's just a matter of putting it together. down on that end. this than I am. Add a bunch of peat moss. And then 
and I've got some Nicolite. That over top. And some just dry potting soil. Might need a bigger shovel for this. I just start mixing it. Oh, I forgot my manure. So it looks like it's a lot of work, and it is. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff. Good for my soul, I think. Now, just gonna continue this on with the rest of the beds. And this part of the garden is finished. Done. Just gotta get some of my squash out of the raised beds up on the chia pet and uh, get them planted in here, get some mulch on them. We should be good. So at this point right now, I'm just chug chugging water in pails and stuff from the house. So we wanted to set up a water collection system for, for the garden. So we have this 250 gallon drum that we got from, from the camp. And we uh, just rigged up the eaves trough so that the eaves troughs will feed into it. So it just went down from the east troughs, cut across, down, and into the tank. We get adapters on there for a hose that I can run all the way out to there to my garden. This thing's pretty fantastic. I really like it. <laughs> 